If you have been working out for a while, but you are struggling to lose fat or make any kind of progress, then it's time to fix that. In this video, I'm gonna go over four reasons why you might be failing and how you can fix it. Let's do this. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the gym or you have been going to the gym for a while uh, to lose fat, but unfortunately you're not seeing any progress, I know how frustrating that can be. Um, I have struggled with that for the longest period of time during my formative years. While you might be doing a lot of things right, like eating in a calorie deficit, eating healthy, uh, going to the gym three to five times a week, there's still a few more things you would actually have to fix to start seeing results. This is exactly what these two clients of mine who are studying who are working in the US did to lose over 20 to 25 pounds uh, and look their absolute best same goes with these two one works in the US one works in India they always found it hard to burn fat but once they started making these simple changes they lost over 22 pounds in a span of four months so if you are ready to get this video underway please go ahead show some love by liking this video subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and let's get started with reason number one as to why you might be struggling to burn fat inconsistency with your diet while most of us know that we need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight the problem is that 90% of us stick to it only five days a week uh, for most of us Saturday and Sunday does not count um, we stick to our macros we stick to our calories Monday through Friday and for some reason we feel that uh, it's okay to fall off a bit on the weekends but guys it is not. If you have set a goal for yourself that the next three to four months you are gonna lose some weight, burn some fat, you have to be a bit more disciplined. I'm not saying don't go out and have fun. I'm just saying be more conscious and smart about it. For example, if you go out every weekend to drink, you can still go out, but reduce the drinking from once a week to probably once every two to three weeks. And also the amount you drink, be more conscious about it. The same goes with food. One thing I always tell my clients is that it's totally okay to have a cheat meal, which is basically a meal where they can eat and drink anything every now and then, probably once every three to four weeks, but you cannot go crazy two days in a week, every week and expect results. Reason number two, insufficient strength training. A lot of people neglect strength training and solely focus on cardio, but if you are looking to burn fat and look and feel strong, you have to be lifting weights. It is essential for building lean muscle mass and also increasing your metabolism. While you can and you should be doing cardio and getting your steps in, what's even more important is you should be lifting weights. I would recommend strength training the three to five times a week that you do go to the gym and I also recommend doing that first as soon as you enter the gym before doing cardio just focus on compound exercises focus on following a structure and focus on lifting heavy in the 6 to 12 rep range reason number three lack of sleep I know we all have busy schedules we work long hours study long hours watch Netflix all night deal with kids and also go out with friends come home late in the night but if you are serious about making progress, you have to find a way to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Inadequate sleep negatively affects hormones related to appetite and metabolism. For example, um, if you don't get enough sleep, your ghrelin levels, which is an appetite inducing hormone, goes up leading to increased cravings and hunger levels. So what does that mean? It basically means that staying in a calorie deficit is gonna be much more difficult. So try to get that seven to eight hours of sleep at the very least uh, so that you can optimize fat loss and also increase your leptin levels, which is a satiety inducing hormone, basically to control your hunger levels so that everything else balances out. Very important guys. And finally, reason number four, low NEAT levels. NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Uh, it's basically the measure of activities that you perform throughout the day outside of exercise. These can be things like going out for a walk, taking your dog out for a walk, doing daily chores, moving around in the house, cleaning the house, fidgeting with things. Basically, 
any daily activity outside the dedicated time you give to exercise. And this is very, very important, guys, because NEAT makes up almost 15% of the total daily expenditure or total number of calories you burn in a day. Whereas EAT, exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically the dedicated time you give to exercise, uh, only makes up 5%. So just increasing your NEAT levels can substantially increase your metabolism and help you burn more calories. When I was working, uh, one of the things that I used to do, and I still do now, is that every hour or so, I get up from my desk and I walk around the house for about 10 minutes. I do this about five to six times uh, during the time I'm working and it just helps me burn so many calories and it helps me increase my need and this is such a simple thing to do guys we all I'm sure most of us work a desk job so this is definitely doable it is simple but an effective way to increase your need and in turn burn more calories so I highly highly recommend being more aware of it and staying as active as you can throughout the day to increase your need levels I know losing body fat and getting into shape uh, can be tough but I promise you it is achievable um, so don't give up um, if you're not seeing uh, progress start implementing the things that I just went over and um, just most importantly trust the process because it takes time guys a lot of patience is required you need to give yourself at least 8 to 12 weeks and I promise you you will start noticing a difference and with that guys we come to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it informative if you did please go ahead like the video please do subscribe to the channel and if you are looking uh, for one-to-one -one coaching please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and I would be happy to help also let me know the kind of videos you'd like me to make Ask me any questions in the comment section below and I would be happy to answer it. And until next time, guys, you take care, you stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.